So if you stay tuned to the very end of this video, I do have a very special announcement for you. I just wanted to make that clear, just in case you thought that was clickbait. Hello everybody, my name is Kaya, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated crystal collection. It has grown quite tremendously, shall I say. I'm very glad that my first thumbnail had them all on there, so let's count them, shall we? I think I see 21, so 21 crystals. Wow. Now, time to see how many we have now. That's the real fun. So I actually have a little flashlight that I'm going to be shining on them in the other camera view so you guys can see them a little bit better. But I am going to be talking here, so this shall be fun. First things first, I guess I'll start with the big pieces. So the one that's pointing out to me that I would love to show you is this raw pink tourmaline. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this first area on the front, how it's like a straight along pink it's just beautiful and I'm not even gonna lie to you. I did lick it thinking that it was pink lamb Himalayan salt, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. That was raw pink tourmaline and quartz. So the next one I'll do is the smoky quartz cluster that I have. This bad boy was pointing out to me on the website for so long and I just had to have her. She is absolutely gorgeous and I love, I love how dirty she is, if that makes sense. I'm sure you can see what I'm saying. <laughs> so I believe that I told you in my last video that I was going to have Aries have his wife, Aphrodite. So here she is. There they are in their glory. They can be together and they're so beautiful. I love these chocolate calcite dragon's heads. So I'm glad that I'm recording this two ways so that you can see what just happened because I almost dropped, I almost dropped you. We're gonna move on. The next one I'm gonna do is my slabs and I only have two so I'm gonna make this pretty quick and simple. The first one's gonna be this rose quartz slab. I love the shape of it. It's just like a pointy little coffin is how I like to think of it, like a tombstone, not a coffin. A tombstone. You see? Cute, cute. The other slab that I have is going to be this fluorite slab. Now this one is very, very fragile. So I used to have my stone sitting on top of it, but then I realized it'll probably scratch it up. So you probably can't see it in the one that I'm showing you right now, but it looks so gorgeous in the other one, doesn't it? You can't, it's just, fluorite's very, very different with light. I'm gonna show you some towers next, and I gotta be super quick because this fluorite is standing up on its edge okay so the first one i'm going to show you is this selenite tower and it is so so beautiful i love how like shiny it is i love how the light just bounces off of it selenite is actually very very powerful they make wands and stuff out of it so if you have one let me know because i've been thinking about getting one i don't really know what any of that stuff does yet so kind of newbie to this i just got a bunch of crystals so the next tower that i have for you was actually a birthday present that i got early um it's a heavy crazy lace agate tower it is so gorgeous can we just take a moment to appreciate her i feel like she looks like a painting and i'm not gonna say that again because in the last video i said that a thousand times i'm not gonna say it again so if you caught it you know exactly what i'm talking about i don't know if i had more than one in my last video but this is my aura face moon little guy i also have this one that is a geode kind of this aura face moon geode is also pretty pretty cute but recently i just got this one which is the <laughs> the one takes the cake man i'm telling you look how gorgeous i can't just can't I'm not believe that i got my hands on this and it faces the other direction so i can actually have them looking at each other it's amazing i'm going to show you the rest of my towers now i know i got kind of sidetracked there with the ones in front of me so the first one i picked up is going to be this ruby and kyanite tower and i was drawn to this bad boy because of the green in there lime green is my favorite color if you can't tell and i was just absolutely taken away as how beautiful this tower was this next tower is going to be a garnet and astrophilii tower. It's also gorgeous, but it is one of my very, very new towers. I actually got this like last week. It's very, very pretty. And in the light, I can kind of see glimpses of like flashes of blue, which is pretty cool. This is my other mini crazy lace agate tower. It's really, really cute. It's cool to see the difference in the towers. If you don't remember and you need a side by side, here they are. It looks so different. 
This is my Labradorite tower. He needed a little refresher. I know I showed that one in the last video. This is my Dragon's Blood tower. It is so little and cute, and you already know I got it because it was fucking green, but also it has special properties to it like everything else. This is my Aura Rose Quartz tower, and I just love it. I love it so much. I love the rainbow off of it. I love Rose Quartz. It's actually very, very good on like your self-love, and I was having trouble with that, and now that I am surrounded by a shit ton of Rose Quartz, and you will too, but I'm just, I, I feel so much better. And lastly, for my towers, kind of, I have like this little tiny tower, but that's later, okay. And lastly, for my little towers, is going to be my rainbow fluoride tower. She's so cute. I love her so much. I know I got like sidetracked by spinning it, but oh my goodness, I love it so, so much. I also got this piece of bismuth, which I think is so, so amazing. I, I saw this and it was actually for somebody in the store, like it had their name on it. I guess it's because she specifically was asking for this piece, but I asked after it was in the store for like a week, I was like, hey, can I buy that? <laughs> and she said, yeah, because she asked the customer, of course, and she was like, yeah, go ahead and let her have it. It was invented. I'm so happy. I have bismuth. I would love to make some bismuth. I believe I did show you in my last video, but I'm going to go ahead and show you again. This is my silver sheen obsidian crater moon, and this is my labradorite crater moon. I'm going to butcher this, but this is my Argbuchipudl, the jasper sphere. Argbuchipudl? Argbuchipudl? I don't remember. It's this O name, and it was very long. But I love this. There's a C in it. That's why I'm showing you this side, but it's really, really pretty. <laughs> This is the Indonesian Agate Sphere. This one is so, so, so pretty. I love like the baby blue lilac color that's coming in there. Also, the patterns in this are just so breathtaking. I love the little natural geodes that are in it. It's so, so, so cute. This is my Indigo Gabriel Sphere. I think this one is also very cute because of the lilac patterns that are in it. Um, like I said, okay, I don't know the, the properties of them off the top of my head. I just grab what I feel is right, and then I look up and see. I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I can't remember all this stuff off the top of my head. I just know the names. Okay, let's just be real. I gotta Google some stuff. This next sphere that I have to show you is this mini Aura Quartz sphere, and it is so, so cute. I love the cracks in there. It's so amazing. I love, I love this one so much. It makes me very happy. I also have two eggs to show you. This is my black rainbow obsidian egg, and she is gorgeous. Do you see that rainbow in there? It's so cool. And the other one that I have to show you is my lapis lazuli egg. I love this so much. I got this because I love blue pickles in minecraft okay let's be real minecraft is my shit and it's always been my shit since that shit came out back in the day i haven't played it in so long i haven't played it since i started adding all that new shit like with the bunnies and shit i have no idea what's in the game now but i would love to get into that when i get into minecraft i get into minecraft i play with mods though so if you're interested in that let me know let me know i know i showed you this in my last video but this is my amethyst geode heart she is absolutely gorgeous, and I just wanted to show her off again. I had to. This is my amethyst heart, but it's a little little one, and she's also absolutely gorgeous. This is one that I didn't show you in the last video because I didn't have it yet. This is my large amethyst heart, okay? And she is absolutely gorgeous. Do you see her? Oh my goodness. Even the back. So right there, do you see that hole? You can see through it with the light. It's so cool. I also have this Amazonite cloud. She is so, so cute. I figured I'd show you her next because why not? I also have this zebra banded calcite heart, which is so cute. I love the lines in this one. It made me so happy when I saw it. I immediately bought it, like immediately. This is a Shungite pyramid. And as soon as I saw that in the store, I also had to have this. I waited a little while and then it went on a store sale and I was like oh my gosh I have to have that before somebody takes it and I know I told you about my opalite moon this bad boy comes in handy have you got one yet because I don't know if she has any opalite in store but you need to get your hands on some opalite when she gets them in because 
it's absolutely amazing. The next thing that I want to show you is my pink amethyst goddesses. They are just absolutely amazing. When I saw them in the store, they had been there for a while and I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Why? They are so fucking cute. I love them so much. They make me so happy. And they actually sit where a little bit underneath my camera because that's, I love to look at them. They just make me so fucking happy. So next we're going to move into palm stones and I have these two strawberry quartz palm stones. They are so, so cool, and I love how they're different in color. One of them is a little bit darker, and you can see through them on the outside area, but not, not in the middle. I also have this lapis lazuli palm stone because I could not resist getting everything lapis lazuli, as you, you will find out. I saw so much lapis in her store, and I was like, mine. And do you see those gold sparkles? Like, I didn't know lapis had gold in it, honey. This is my Lepidiolite palm stone. I know I probably butchered that, but this one looks like space and it is so stinking cute. It's so freaking cute. Can you say that? This is my Blue Appetite palm stone and I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, this looks like water. Like, I think this is so freaking cute. I love this so much. Last but not least, this is my Ocean Jasper palm stone. She is so, so gorgeous and the more I research into Ocean Jasper, I just want more of it. It's like the rare version of jasper there's more versions that are rarer but like it's it's really cool look up ocean jasper okay after this okay so before i move into the little stuff i'm going to do my raws so i believe i already showed you this chunk of rs and this chunk of white rs but I did recently get my hands on some actual sphere and I just wanted to show you what it actually looks like, like, but in a little tower form. It's so beautiful. I love, I love sphere light. It's probably one of my favorite crystals, to be honest. The next one I have to show you is my Azurite Malachite specimen, and this one is so pretty. I believe I showed you this in my last video as well, so I won't give it too much spotlight. This is my chunk of Mookite, and oh my goodness, this thing is so cool. It feels like, like, clay. It's honestly such a cool piece of stone. I like how mine has this cute little white dot on it. And I also have this piece of orange calcite, which we have previously talked about. Now, I don't know what these are, okay? But I wanted to include them so that they feel included because they are a part of my stones. I got them on the beach in Ireland and I brought them home, but they do have these cute little crystals in them. And I just, I love them so much. This one is a wishing stone because of that line through the middle. And I think that is so, so awesome. So we're about to move on to the little stuff. This is where it gets a little bit hectic. So if you stay tuned to the very end of this video, I do have a very special announcement for you. I just wanted to make that clear, just in case you thought that was clickbait. So first things first, I'm gonna show you guys my tumble stones. These are my black flower agate tumble stones. They are so beautiful. I love them so much. And this one right here actually has a little tiny geode inside of it. I think it's so beautiful. This is my Amazonite tumble stone. I think she is also gorgeous. It's the same thing as my Amazonite cloud. These are my blue goldstone hearts and I am absolutely in love with these. This one over here is a wishing stone and I think it is absolutely amazing. I love these. As soon as I saw it, I had to get the other one. Like as soon as I held it in real life, I was like, oh, is it still on there? This is my little tiny raw selenite chard. I keep this in my little goodie bag so I can carry it with me to amplify all the energy that I am carrying. This is my Persian agate tumble stone. You see what I did there? Just making sure you saw that. And these are my blue chalcedony tumble stones. Okay, just making sure you saw that again. This is my clear quartz heart. She's super cute. And this is my clear quartz moon. Also super, super cute. It looks like a snowflake when you look through it, but I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. This is my purple rose quartz star. The only star that I actually own. This is my moss agate heart. And I think she is so gorgeous can you see what i see because oh my gosh this is my orange aura quartz which is astonishing do you see that in there it looks like there's like a flower or something i don't know it's so cool this is also orange aura quartz this is my lapis lazuli moon and this is my black obsidian moon this is a piece of turquoise that a customer paula gave me thank you paula 
This is a tiger's eye tumble stone. This is an amethyst heart tumble stone. This is my amethyst heart. This is my blue auroboros quartz. This is my carnelian heart. This is my pyrite cluster heart. Isn't that adorable? This is my aura kyanite. This is also my aura kyanite. A little small piece of aura kyanite. This is some green adventuring, as well as these pieces of green adventuring. I have a couple. <laughs> These are my fluorite tumble stones. I think these are so freaking gorgeous. Do you see those? These are my amethyst tumble stones. I only have two and I think they're so freaking cute. This is my tiger's eye dog. I think I told you her name is Juno. This is my green adventuring bunny and she is so freaking cute. I'm gonna call her Jimena because there's an X on her. And I love my coworker Jimena that I worked with. So you see this, I love you. Miss you. This is my mini court sphere. Mini, 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 mini court sphere. This is my tiny little pyrite cluster, as well as this black obsidian rainbow tumble stone. And this is a piece of rainbow hematite. So if you made it to this far in the video, I would love to know in the comments if you got bored and you wanted to count how many crystals I have. I'm too ashamed to count. So if you would love to let me know, I would, I would love to know. But here's for the fun part of the video. I know you guys probably are looking at these like, okay, so why are you showing me this? Why are you, why, why, why are you making this a part of your channel? I don't understand. Okay, I honestly don't understand it all the way either. I don't understand how it makes me feel but it makes me feel very very good and honestly I'm gonna share that with you so I'm going to be doing a giveaway I have six baggies of crystals that I'm going to be giving away and I'll just show you one for now so in these cute little baggies you're gonna be receiving a piece of Persian agate you're gonna be receiving five of these rose quartz tumble stones you're gonna be receiving five of these black rainbow obsidian tumble stones as well as five of these black flower agate tumble stones and there's also a tiny little mini quartz sphere in there too so we're gonna have twin rocks all of us are all six of us and eventually in the future i'll have a bigger giveaway but for now we're gonna start small you guys have a month to enter in this competition compete 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 you may be wondering how are you going to compete in this competition well it's very simple very simple it's not really a competition it's really just all you have to do to enter to win is to follow me on my instagram at kaya jaden and you also have to subscribe to me here on youtube so it's pretty simple pretty pretty simple if you guys want any of these crystals you know what to do i'm giving myself a month so that i can get myself a p.o box so that i don't dox myself you know what i mean but this is gonna be really fun i'm hoping that even if you keep these in your car it helps you helps you feel more balanced when you're driving down the road and some dipshit cuts you off. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you enjoy and you guys know what to do, thank you again. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Stay rad, you guys. Don't get abducted by aliens because that doesn't sound like fun. And have a great day. Bye-bye.